Meanwhile, number houses have decreased by almost a half. This according to Gaming Minister, the Honorable Obi Wolshkom, in the House of Assembly last evening. He said it's all a part of the new legislation to manage gaming and assist those who are gaming addicts. The concern was raised by Montague MP Richard Lightborn. Legislation was first introduced. It was uh, my understanding that there was going to be a fund set aside to assist with those persons who were regarded as having an addiction. And uh, I don't know what government's position is on, on that, but as far as I can see, there are many, many people in this country who have an addiction. And I just wondered what government proposes doing to assist those persons. The tourism minister replied that not only are gaming houses doing their part to treat addicts as prescribed by the law, but the ministry is also formulating an assistance program. The truth is some of the gaming houses are, are engaged in programs themselves. The, the ministry itself is creating a program, Mr. Speaker, where we will have uh, individuals, professionals, who will be advising on how best to deal with it, Mr. Speaker. But it's a very good question. It's all intended to, as he says, manage uh, the growth and development of the gaming industry. Remember, our objective was to ensure that the proliferation, uh, we did not want it to uh, grow uh, to the pace where it's just going to be everywhere, and that's why it's important to note we had more than 600 houses before, now the less than 300 are the facilities. Uh, and, Mr. Speaker, the, we're moving now to ensure that we have the foundation in place, and, of course, what you're asking about the addiction uh, persons who to be treated who have who are addicted to gaming. All a part of the programs.